Hi, I'm Marina and it's great to see you. And today, as you can see, I have a very cute, very special guest on the channel today. This is Chloe. She's gonna help me by clicking out all my makeup today. So if you'd like to see how Chloe and I get that done, keep on watching. So guys, today as you can see, I'm in different surroundings. I'm actually home in my living room. I cannot go to the studio right now to film because we are on lockdown, much like many other places. But I don't want to dwell on that. I know that a lot of people watch videos just to not think about that and escape from it for a little while. So let's continue to do that today. Now, I have a few different things in front of me and Chloe will be picking most of the steps of my makeup today. So let's start with primer. So primer, and today we have Too Faced and Benefit. Which one do you like, Chloe? Okay, she went for the Too Faced, so Too Faced it is. Next, we'll do foundation. And today is either Scott Barnes or MAC. Which one, Chloe? Okay, she went for the MAC, clearly. Next, we'll do mascara, and it's KKW or MAC. Which one? Which one, Chloe? Come on. She's so over this right now, we're barely started. Come on, Chloe, tell me which one. Okay, well, it looks like she went for KKW, so we'll be using that one today. And lips. For lips, we have a choice of Fenty, Kylie, and NYX. I'm gonna see which one she picks. So which one, Chloe? Which one? Okay, well, she went for the NYX, so NYX it is. And as for lip liner, Chloe, you know, you have to pick a lip liner that matches with that. Which lip liner do you want? Show me. Come on. So she went for Kylie, it looks like. Now tell me which bronzer. We have Nas and we have Fenty. Okay, she says Nas. <laughs> I barely put it down and she said Nas. And for highlight today, we have Armory Z. And we have Marc Jacobs. Which one would you like, Chloe? She went for Amra first, so we'll do Amra easy. Next, we have concealer. For concealer, we have the option of Maybelline Instant Age Rewind or Tarte Shape Tape. Which one? She went for the Maybelline. Next, we have lip gloss. We have a choice between ColourPop and KKW. Which one, Chloe? She's so over this right now. And it looks like she went for the KKW first, so we'll use that one. Next, we have lashes. And today we are choosing between Tati Lashes and Vali Nanko. Which one, Chloe? Okay, she went for Vali Nanko. And last but not least, setting spray. Next, we have setting spray. So for setting spray, Chloe has three choices. Which one do you like? It looks like she wants the Scandinavia, so we'll go with that one. Next, we have blush. It's between Nas and Kylie. Which one, Chloe? Which one? Okay, so it looks like she will lean more towards Kylie, so let's say it's Kylie. And next we have the eyeshadow palette. So, I have three choices today. A Tarte, a 
Pat McGrath and KKW. So what we have next is uh, the eyeshadow palettes. Can you tell me which one you like? She's so over this right now, you guys. She put her paw closest to the Tarte Mermaid eyeshadow palette, so that's the one I'm going to use today. So I'm going to let her go about her little patrol. She likes to patrol the apartment when she's over here, and we'll get the makeup part done. Thank you, Chloe. So guys, Chloe is actually not our dog. She is my friend's dog, and she stays here sometimes. She's so nice in her brownie house. She's really quiet and tiny, but she just follows you from room to room and then with working at home that makes it even better. Like, I absolutely love having her around. I'm sure with everything she picked we can come up with a really not great look. And yes, I dragged my concealer down my neck as well because I do wear foundation down my neck to make sure everything is matching. And from here, well, Chloe was gonna pick the powder, but she's like over it right now. So from here, I will just use the powder of my choice, and today I'll be using Huda Beauty in Blondie. And recently I started using the technique of just putting a light layer of powder right under your foundation. It actually helps it to last longer, helps control shine, and I find it necessary, especially with this particular primer. This particular primer is great. I mean, it's really um, excellent in regards to it being skincare and primer in one. But I find that in the Caribbean climate, sometimes it doesn't hold the makeup as long as, say, a uh, Fenty or a more matte primer would. So, as you guys can see, I've started to apply my foundation, the MAC foundation that Chloe picked out today. She's actually by my feet right now and you can't hear her and she's so tiny you can't see her right now. She's like the cutest little thing. And she's actually been sort of like an emotional support animal during any moments that I've had a bit of anxiety as I'm sure many of us are having right now. It is, you know, a strange time that I'm sure many of us never thought we would live through. Or live to see something like this, I should say. So as I'm sure many of us are Netflixing and chilling a lot right now. And I would like to know, what are you guys watching right now? Like, what suggestions do you have? I watched um, The Tiger King, and I'll have to say is... Yeah. I mean, it is also really sad that there are so many more animals, like, in captivity, as opposed to being out there in their natural habitat. That is really sad and disturbing. But um, I can say if you haven't looked at it yet, you should, because it's definitely an eye opener. The other thing I really got into was Circle, and well, my husband actually got me into that because he wanted to try that one. So make light to that one, and I liked it as well when I got into it, Circle, and from there we went on to watch. I think it was Hotel Transylvania, the series. I never really paid much attention to it prior to now. I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows off camera and be right back. I'm going in with my concealer, the H Wine from Maybelline. This is actually my favorite drugstore concealer. And you can tell this one is brand new. 
I go through them so quickly when I have them. So I have to buy them often. And there it is. Product. So guys, what have you been doing during this time besides Netflixing and chilling? I think that and this is something I've been trying to do for myself as well. If there's anything that you've been putting off or anything that you've been wanting to work on that you can't work on or you haven't had time to work on, you can use this time to do like if you were, for example, going to write a book, write a book. You have time now. You literally have all the time right now to do that. Write a book. Um, if you wanted to get back into shape, start working out. I know the gym isn't open, but there are a lot of home exercises that everyone can do and, you know, get started with this. And hopefully you have like little basic things at home that you can use, like um, resistance bands and so on. Like not going to the gym has been one of the hardest things about this for me. And second hardest would be not being able to make my appointments. Now I know these are trivial matters based on everything else going on in the world. I actually know someone personally who has unfortunately contracted the virus. And out of, in a different country, and out of respect for the person, of course, and their privacy, I won't say who it is, but it's been hard on a lot of people. So the shade of this concealer is Honey and it's a nice brightening color for me. I love the coverage of this concealer. I use it on myself and clients. Anything that is good enough for myself and clients, you know that's a good product. I'm taking my Jaclyn Hill GH01 and just doing a dusting again of powder. And yes, I know my nose is not blended out yet. I'm leaving it there for a little bit longer. Now I'm going to blend it out. So already my nose looks a little bit smaller, which I really like. I did notice a new, um, well not a new, but a technique from Huda Beauty that I really like with regards to how to contour your nose. So one thing that I have almost stopped doing is doing the little stripe across the nose just because I think that it can look muddy and sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, it depends on how I feel. But of course I always take the right down the center of the nose. Guys, Chloe looks so cute sleeping. And for me of course contouring the rest of my nose. my GS1 brush and just blending out contour. This is one of Jeffrey's foundation brushes, but I just love, love, love this particular brush for blending out contour. I'm gonna prime the eyes with, of course, the P. Louise Eye Base in Roma Zero, my favorite ride or die eye primer. Using the e. Elf Concealer Brush. Then going over it with the JS, sorry, the GH08 brush, just to give it a smooth canvas. Now I know sometimes I repeat some of the things that I see from video to video, but I don't know if there's anybody new tuning in for the first time and they would like to know well, why am I doing some of the steps that I'm doing and why is it necessary. And of course, because of the creasiness on the inside of my eyes, what I will do is take one of my brushes and just dip it into a little bit of setting powder and just put it right here on the crease. So I like to leave the rest of my primer wet, you know, to get the most out of the color, but I just put it right there to prevent any creasing. Guys, I'll be going into the palette Chloe picked, which is the Tarte Via Mermaid and Make Waves palette. Now, this was a limited edition uh, palette by Tarte, and I'm sorry if you guys missed it, but I absolutely love it. I love the little 99% mermaid that it says in the mirror. I'm blocking it so you guys don't see what's going on back there. It doesn't 
I don't flash you guys, but the 99% mermaid, and I love the fact that it has all these pretty blues and stuff on it, and of course the packaging was everything, so I'm really sorry if you missed out on it, unfortunately. Taking my Madame Mirage large crease blending brush, and I'll be dipping into this color here, Shipwreck. Actually, you know what guys, I think I'm going to be doing a halo eye today. So what I want to do is put a little something in the crease, and I think I'll be going in with sandbar. I'm just putting this to the crease just to have like a little transition color there. So light wash color. Then taking my GH41 brush and dipping it into the color cavern. Okay, so this is a halo eye, so I'll be packing the same color on the inside of it. Taking my Madame Mirage small flat shader brush, I'm actually going to give it a little spritz and dip it into the color. I think I'm going to go with Frosty. It's one of my favorite colors in this palette. And pack it onto the center. I'm taking my tiny little blender, the GH40, and just going into the edges here that I see just to blend it out and make them softer and more well blended. I really love this brush for how precise it is. Now for the lower lash line, I will be going in with a nice, I'm thinking maybe a nice copper toned eyeliner. I'll be using the eye pencil Maybelline Lasting Drama in the shade Striking Copper. I have searched even through more high-end brands and for this type of a color this is the best one. So I'll just heat it up on the back of my hand and then take it into my waterline. Now I see this is just a perfect, beautiful copper color. And that's Chloe you hear scratching in the background. And I'll be taking my GH43 brush and dipping it back into the color, the color carbon, and running it along the lower lash line. Smudging it out. And from here, I'll be taking the pencil brush in, oh, this is actually what they call a smudger brush from the Madame Mirage set. I'm going in to the shade Shipwreck. I'm taking my favorite inner corner brush, which I can't find. Okay, I found it. The GH39. Dipping it into this really pretty color here. I think I'm going to go into bubbles. Is this kind of... It turns from blue to purple, if you see it, if you can see it shift. The shade here bubbles. Dipping my brush into it and then spraying it, waving it around for like 10 seconds and bringing it into the inner corner. Just to bring that element of mermaid into it. So guys, as you see, I've dusted away my beak, but one of the things that I would like to focus on and show you and highlight in this video is the fact that you can take a little bit of the foundation left on any of your creamy brushes and just brush it up into the nose. This is a little trick I learned from watching Huda Beauty and she brushes it up into the contour, the nose contour, just to get it to be more natural. So now I will just be placing the brow gel to the brows. And from here going in with Chloe's Choice of Bronzer, which was the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And I'll be using my Jeffrey Powder Brush, the JS2. Dipping into Chloe's choice of blush, which is Kylie Barely Legal. I'm giving myself a spritz. 
and I don't have my fan with me because it's in my room. Well, I'm too lazy to go and get up for it. And from here, dipping into my favorite part, which is the highlight. I'm grabbing my JS4 brush to highlight with. So fun fact guys, this is the highlight that I wore on my wedding day. I know I have been promising you a in-depth video into my wedding day and my makeup and all of that. I actually was waiting to get back a copy of my wedding video from Sandals, which I have recently gotten so I can get that done for you guys. Just going over everything to make sure that it's all nicely blended and from here doing the kkw mascara so actually i think i'm going to go over with another spritz of the setting spray just because i want to laugh and now going in with the kkw mascara this is my first time using this mascara, guys. Chloe picked it out for me. So I'm using it today for the first time. And as you can see, it's a pretty decent size wand. Let's see how it performs. So guys, I don't particularly like the brush for the bottom lash line, but I love it for the top lash. You can see a big difference between this side and this side. And the formula feels good. It's comfortable to wear. There have been other formulas. I have tried like um, the, the Tartiest mascara. I love so much from Tarte, but that particular mascara just does not agree with me. I mean, I really tried to get into it because I got one with the set when I ordered the Mermaid palette but it just burns my eyes didn't agree with me at all i mean if anybody out there is using it and they like it and works for you of course continue using it by all means but you know makeup is such a personal thing and not what works for one person may not work for another now on to lips using chloe's lip combo first the kylie x balmain lip liner Then going in with the NYX lip lingerie push up. It's actually a long lasting lipstick. It wears really well. The shade is Dusk to Dawn. It's a nice peachy shade. Last but not least for lip gloss, using the KKW in the shade Iridescent. guys this is the final look I think Chloe did a great job I really had fun having her on today I hope you guys enjoyed seeing her she is so cute you have to love her and I would like you all to subscribe don't forget subscribe to my channel hit that bell notification also follow me on Instagram at Marina Mermaid Princess on twitter at marina louis 2 and now on tiktok at marina.lcan thanks again for watching bye guys